Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Elden Ring. In the last video, we started to explore the mountaintop of the giants. And we're going to head back, as I said last time now, we're going to head up and hopefully north to Castle Sol. Castle Sol. If it is indeed Castle Sol. We know Castle Sol is where we get the Halig Tree Medallion thing. Well, the other half of the Halig Tree Medallion, because that's what uh, Natali Tenala... I can't remember her bloody name. That's what that last told us. And what I need to do is remember how to get up there. Where did I see that? There was definitely a way up, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not talking crazy pants. I don't think I'm talking crazy pants. I definitely saw a way up, because I was debating whether I want to go to the river or go up. And yet, now that I'm here, <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, I'm recording this straight away after the last video, so how have I forgotten this information? God only knows. Um, oh, hello. Item. See, it's all part of my ploy to find this item over here. Just, I had to get that formic rock into my life, you know? Uh, oh, hello. That's interesting. There's a little camp up there. Looks like a merchant thing, maybe. If I had to get, I think it's on the right. I think it's this one that we climb up. Let's just have a little poke around. Uh, anyways, yes. Thingy, Natali, Natala, Tanala, or whoever. Mentioning Castle Sol as the look. Am I losing my mind? Did I not see a way up? I'm sure I saw a way up. Yeah, well, we'll go around then. Screw you, game. <laughs> we'll go from Freezing Lake instead. Which looks like it has a route upwards as well. And we'll just, we'll just kind of go backwards on the route I intended. I'm sure I saw a way up. I'm, I'm so sure, but... Brain.exe has ceased to work. On we go. So this is the lake. That's a little... Is that a jellyfish? Jellyfish, ghostly jellyfish are everywhere. <laughs> the spirit jellyfish in this game are dedicated to um, taking over the world. They're the real threat. Everyone's too blind to see it, but I'm telling you. The spirit jellyfish, those are the ones you have to look out for. Anyways, Tanala, Natala, I cannot remember her name at all. I wonder if she's still there. That would help me out, actually. <laughs> uh, Western Lyernia, right? Not there. Not there. Not there. Over down? Yeah. No, she's gone. She was there, the slumbering wolf shark. It's either T E N N or N E T T. I think it's N E T T. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she said it's at Castle Sol. And then. And then um, Millicent, who we met last video again, mentioned that there's a castle to the north of the ruins. So, I'm assuming. Let's go! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Those first few hits were always interesting, because it's like, okay, how strong are you? Let's find out. That boy's not coming back to life, I'll tell you that much. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't mean to do that. Heal quickly. Ow. There we go. <laughs> Just think. Yeah, see? I'm a genius. Genius. Okay, well, I mean, I took advantage of a fairly basic mechanic, and I accidentally clicked the wrong button. It's the only reason it was tough. Well, that's neither here nor that. He's still a genius. All right, so I guess we're gonna. Yeah, okay. What is that? Oh, it's one of those. Um, oh, we haven't seen these in ages. Skull snail things. Weren't these brutal? I remember. Weren't these things that helped kill me when I first fought a? Could we die to it? The death bird. Remember. Oh, interesting. Maybe that means there's a death bird here. We have to come back at night time, but try to keep that in mind. I say that. I think there's a, a fairly humongous list of things I said. Oh, we'll keep that in mind. We'll come back later. We just never got it. Like that bloody item in... Um, in Noxtello or Noxon. I keep mixing the two up, but... 
There's a there's a fancy looking item up on some hill that I never got to. Never found my way. The thing as well though, the problem is. Um a lot of these things you come back to later on, you'll get like there'll be a random lift or something, and you'll come like think about the southwest Lyonia. That area, that raised area we can get to for absolutely ages. We have to progress a quest line really far in to get there. And I beat my head against a wall trying to figure out how to get there for ages, you know? Is this evil? No. <laughs> Run! We gotta get these archer boys. Hey, come on. Come on. There we go. Who is hitting me now, though? Hmm. One day. One beautiful day. I'll use to learn LB. Someone else is archering me. miles away. No wonder you're missing. You need to think about what you're doing with your life, Skelly bro. I just feel like the right thing to do when you first approach an area is to kill everything, you know? I don't think, you know, it's like, when I come back here again, I'm not necessarily going to kill everything, right? Because I've done it once, I don't feel the need to do it again. But I think you should kill everything at least once. There is the castle. Very cool. Okay. I think I get down that way, yeah. Um, I'm going to probably explore everywhere else before the castle. So let's make sure we are nice and thorough in our exploration. No exploration. Exploration. And I'm stuck. Curse you, small bridge. You dead, bro? Nope. You looked very suspicious. Hoping that when I cross the bridge and sort of head back the direction I was thinking, I see this route down I was thinking of. Nothing here, is there? Just an awfully sus. Wait a minute. What? Uh. What? Is it invisible? Or do I fix it? Okay, wait, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Do I have any fire bombs? I don't have a single fire bomb. Da, 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 da. It's certainly right. I'm just, I'm just, I'm a little nervous. Let's just try that one more time. Get as close as I can. Okay. What if I... Oh, this is very disconcerting. Um, what if I make rainbow stones? Can I throw them in front of me, though? I don't know. This is what we used to do in Dark Souls. To find our way across um, invisible pathways, you chuck little stones on the ground. It's the fact that it says right ahead that's making me nervous. I don't think it's... I think it's lying, but I'm just going to double check, you know? Uh, 
Also, these are cool. <laughs> I like these a lot. Oh, I should use these in catacombs. I was gonna, I'm going to start doing that. Every time I go to a catacombs from now on, I'm going to mark. You know, like Hansel and Gretel. And now I'm just doing it because it's fun. <laughs> and I want to make a pretty pattern. Why is there so much blood here? Because of that guy down there, isn't it? Run! Wait, what? Wait, what? Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, a little confused. What on earth? It's kind of fusion. All right. Well, I hate to say it, but <laughs> we'll come back later. I'm hoping these last forever. And I'll feel safer if I've got a nice glowy trail. Because, I mean, it, it's, it's straightforward, yeah. But you don't know if you're in a perfect angle, do you, really? I don't know how thick it is, you know? So... What is that? I oh, whoa. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. What's the point? There I mean, there must be a reason. But I can get over there via conventional means, can't I? <laughs> Maybe I can't. Maybe that's the only way over. Maybe, I mean, that stone there that I threw is further to the right. Maybe you're meant to put stones. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I kind of want to go back and find out. Ah, well, no, we're going to keep exploring, but what we'll probably do is come back at the end of the... Well, I want to do Castle Sol. I want to finish the area first, right? But that might be something we come back to. There's a great site right here, thankfully, so... That is very curious. Makes me wonder if there's been anything else like that throughout the uh, the game that I've missed. But because of the message system, you do tend to spot things like that, right? I mean, I never would have tried that out. <laughs> I would have no desire to cross that bridge. If um, there was no messages there, like, it, just, it didn't look like anything. And then you see the floating blood and you see the floating message system. A large castle, actually. But that's for future me. Current me has other things to do. So just see, I can get across. Oh, I don't know. I'm super, super curious. I can get across. No, I can get across to there. I'm not sure I can get across to there. That's probably what we'll do. If we keep exploring and we see that there's no way up there, then that would suggest, right, that what you have to do is climb. Eh? No. What's this called? Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Oh, excuse me. Bloody Nora. So many bloody skeletons, man. Too many skeletons, I would suggest. The Beast Eye Quivers. Oh, hello. Hey. 
I expect to see you down here. Not that I can, wait, not that I can do anything with these bloody things anymore, anyway. Because he hates me. Oh, he's so nearly dead. Now oh, I'm nearly dead. Helfen's Steeple. Alright. Sounds pretty cool. There's the church. And there's the people. Colossal weapon. Oh, strength X. That's cool. Ah! <laughs> Busy looking at my equipment. Oh, it's a mausoleum. Okay, well, I don't want to come down here yet. I'm going to go back up. Um, That's really thrown me for a loop. Maybe there is a route off the... Like, basically, maybe... I want to make sure they're still there. I think they're gone, you know. Maybe there's a like a side route, not at the end though, maybe it's before the end. And you can turn right at some point or turn left and get over to the ledge. Maybe. It's about all I've got idea wise. Go away. Okay, so the path on the right is gonna take me down towards Castle Sol. Well not necessarily. Also takes me over there. But so does this, so we'll go around. Yeah? Yeah. So we can go this way first to the tree. It's quite a large area. This bit here. I just I, I'm surprised I didn't find more stuff. Which always makes me nervous, because if I don't find anything, it makes me feel like well, well you should have found something, you know? this here. <laughs> there's a summon thing and there's a lot of blood. And a wide open area. Oh, okay. Okay, just suspicious for no reason, I suppose. So that over there... Is where I was trying to get to. Can I just run, run around? Ba -ba -ba. Let's just have a little poke. There's got to be some... Ah! Right, I know where to fight these. Let's not get cocky. We know what to do. We've done this many times before. That's not what you do. <laughs> That's not what you do. Swords. What? Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh Oh that's that's gonna spice it up a little bit. <laughs> well now we really just need to take our time. Oh, swords. Oh my god, so many swords. Nightmare fuel. Horse. Okay, that, that requires some serious finger play on my part, I'm telling you. That was pretty crazy. 
Right, I want to bait the attack out. And then bait the attack out. I don't know if I have to kill one of them or if they share a health bar or what's going on. It's sort of fine to dodge, just. It got a little tricky. <laughs> Stop that. Am I dead? Oh my god, not dead. About to be though. Okay. Very interesting. Um whew. <laughs> Rather unexpected, must be said. No, let's go try again. Is that directing me? Yeah. I was going to go to Castle Soul. Right, no, no. Let's just let's just focus on getting there with as much health as possible, eh? I'll use my um. I didn't use my flask. I don't think the flask makes that much a difference. Don't get me wrong, but I should use it still. That was unexpected. <laughs> I'm hoping that when I kill the one I was. I'm going to keep targeting the same one. I'm hoping that when I kill that one, the other one disappears, you know? Good start, that. Great start. You one-hit my horse. Playing like an idiot. Yeah, that's a really good time to get loads of damage in. They don't even hurt each other like most double enemies. Okay, yeah, I can hit either of them. Okay, that's good. That's really good to know. Run! Swords! Swords! Many swords! <laughs> Many swords handle it. Okay, it's actually not that bad, because what all you need to do is look out for which tree does the attack that lets you get in there, because they have a shared health pool, alright? Cerulean Crystal Tear, Tear, and Crimson Bubble Tear. Man, I could go for some Crimson Bubble Tear right now. <laughs> not Bubble Tea in ages, actually. That was fun, though. I like that. That's a nice way to mix things up. It's always those are really like cool moments where it reminds me of the money to fight in Demon Souls, where you think you've got a handle on things, and then they just they do something to absolutely just throw you for a loop. And in Manita was the same thing; you fought them, and it was a hard fight, and then like another one just joins the fight midway through. Obviously, the gargoyles in Dark Souls did the same thing, but it wasn't as effective by then. Okay, so we can cross over there. Well, that's where we came. Let's have a little explore this little island. I'm very curious where I can get over there from here. It sort of looks like it, doesn't it? If I can get... Uh, it sort of doesn't, though. <laughs> I actually don't think I can. I think that is going to be a self-contained risen area. All right. On we go. Bit too busy making stupid raw noises to kill me. <laughs> cough, cough. No, 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 no. 
No, no, we don't die to stupid enemies, do we? No, no. <laughs> That's a little bit too close for my liking. Thank you very much. Don't die to stupid enemies. Cough, cough. And then he just absolutely shredded me. I feel like this is an area that's quite tough to... Um, if there's items around, I feel it's going to be quite difficult to get them all. Just by virtue of how many little rocky bits there are. You know, there's just there's little divots absolutely everywhere. Okay, well, let's head towards the next bridge. Kill some dudes, you know, have a good time. Gotta get that string. Got my priorities in order. More string? Rainbow stones? Actually, not, not gonna complain about those anymore. <laughs> Apparently it's super useful, who knew? Nice. Have a little poke around here, you never know. Never know. Never know. Okay, right, so this is the this is where I thought I could come up initially, so. You absolute stunner! As if it's just sitting on some dude! What? Oh, amazing. Also, those ruins scare me because there's a more ruins. There's a more ruins have scarred me for life. But as if I just got that so casually. This on some guy. Alright, that means we are one level away from Max when we get that in. Exciting times! Ruins also exciting. Ruins tend to mean talisman or cool weapon or something, you know? Alright, this is the last bit I have to explore, really. Just trying to be thorough. Although I'm pretty sure this is where it came. Is indeed. Stargaze. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. There you go. Who's a good horsey? Bridge I came across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's a there's a thing. The tower. There's a keep over there. Yeah, it must be. That's not cool. Don't do that. What was that? You can't do that. Is it the jellyfish? I've been waiting ever so long Forever and ever it seems Okay an imp somewhere that I missed? You tell me I have to kill the jellyfish. I think it is the jellyfish talking to me. Um, I don't see the seal.
Well, that's disconcerting. Is it a go oh, wait? Here lie Aurelia and Aureliette, who never saw the stars. Game, what are you doing? <laughs> wait, do I have to summon the jellyfish? Is that what it means? Maybe. Is she a jellyfish? She's she's clearly the jellyfish. And they both died. Where did you go? Oh, this is sad. Um. You promise me when we turn fourteen, we go to see the stars. Here you go. Floating spirit. That's Aurelia. Oh no! Oh, I'm so happy for her. Her and her sister got to. I mean, I suppose we can still summon it, which is a bit weird, but. A floating spirit that illuminates its surroundings. Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home. Will bravely spew poison at foes on her summoner's behalf. It seems her name is Aurelia. I wonder if that's just updated, actually. Oh, how unexpectedly morbid and sweet at the same time. Even if they're dead and they're spirits, at least they got to go see the stars together at the end, you know? It's never nice when children die, <laughs> obviously, but spells consume less FP. Oh, not really for me. When I said Blintstone Blade, I assumed it wasn't really for me, but... I am very emotional right now. <laughs> I'm just really surprised by that. Alright, anyways. I think that's it for this area, so... <sighs> to Castle Soul we go. Why I keep assuming it's Castle Soul. I'm going to look really stupid if it turns out not to be Castle Soul. If I go back to the shack? I think so. Again, that's another one of those things that makes me think, you know, have I missed things in the past? Because I didn't experiment enough with random combinations of things or summons or anything like that, you know? Now, that is actually the first FP I said I was going to complete this game without ever using a summon. Excuse me, what the fuck? Huh? You heal my, my horse. There you go, buddy. Nom 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 nom. Dude, that's a lot of health.
kind of want to bait out the beam attack. It's super easy to dodge. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, the shack's down there. I'm talking nonsense. Um, did I never come this far? Did he summon because because I helped the sisters? Deathbird! I said there was a death bird. Admittedly, I thought it didn't appear till night time. Ow. Ah! Here you go, buddy. Let's get you healed up. Oh, that's a lot of death. This thing's got some... Oh, well, I'm nearly dead. When did that happen? Uh, I feel like I should be sprinting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like you're cheating a little bit here, Deathbird. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh my health! Maybe it is night time. Maybe I just can't tell it's night time. Okay, maybe it just spawns. The last one only spawned at night time. Maybe this one doesn't. They did that last time. That is essentially always one hit kill. I've got to remember that. Right, I'm glad he's turning up again, though. He's not allowed to kill me and get away with it. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, not my best work. No, I've got to run. No! This goes so well. And then I saw that attack and I was already mid-animation on my bloody, um, my thing, my dive forward. Okay, I think fighting in, oddly enough, it's not often I'll say it, but I think fighting off torrent is actually better here. I just want to get my souls. This is the problem with the souls, they make you play worse. Yeah, that was that was that was pretty terrible. Maybe I'll start on torrent until I get my souls. And then I'll hop off. Look at that thing. What a creepy son of a bitch. Yeah, I just it's 188,000. It is actually more if it's ever more than a level. I'm not willing to drop them, you know?
gonna stay on turret for now. I need to make more raisins. Oh, you cheeky. Oh! Nah, come on. There we go, we went away. <laughs> Not getting me this time, sonny boy. It's a lot of... A lot of death and a lot of frost on the ground now, though. Ah! What's he doing? Spingle spoo- Whoa! That hits like a truck! Jesus Christ! That hit me so hard! I'm actually a little staggered by how much damage that did. Whew. You're a tough old cookie, aren't you? Bloody Nora. <laughs> Much harder than I initially anticipated. Of course. Bloody death bird. All it needs is teeth now and it would be the worst enemy in the game. Is this a mausoleum thing, or I don't know what causes this, because it happens occasionally. It always leaves things behind that you can pick up. Full of bloom. Not that full of bloom feels particularly. I think it's just. I think it's just a plant thing, isn't it? You just find patches of full bloom, and that's what they do. Oh, beloved grace site. I kind of want to take down the mausoleum just so I don't have to hear that bell. <laughs> you know, as I explore um, Castle Salt. Oh, again, what I'm still assuming is Castle Salt. It's gotta be, right? She's on about the castle, Sol, north of the ruins, and we need to be here. How do I... is it this? I'm gonna help you out there, buddy. What? on it. It does feel, and it, it's, it feels like it's meant to be like a, you know, this giant creature. I like to think I'm helping it out by doing this, you know? I'm not just doing it because I hate the way it sounds. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, run, run. <laughs> Obviously, we don't need it as an actual mausoleum quite yet, but that doesn't ring the bell anymore. <laughs> I don't have to deal with the stomping every five seconds either. All right, I want to explore the... Well, I'll tell you what, let's not be stupid. Let's grab the grey site first, and then we'll explore the outskirts of the castle. Ow. Then we'll head inside. Show me Castle Sol. 
Hey! Okay, cool. That means we're gonna get the Halig Tree medallion. I mean, hopefully we are anyway. It should be in there somewhere. And then, do we do that now? Maybe. We'll see. Boop. Boop. Still three damage per point. You can see how this has got low, but that's 18 now. Yeah, it's getting worse and worse and worse. But, like I said, we're going to take it up to 60 and then we'll stop. Which is kind of spooky in a way. Because now I'll hit 60 and then that will be it. I will gain no more HP for the rest of the game. You know, that's 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 pretty odd, actually. You know what? I think we may be at the point where this is actually a bad idea. Because it's taken me above... The Vigor Cap. I wonder how much health that gives me. I think over time we'll see that give less and less health. Yeah, that actually gives more health now. Urchie's favour. It didn't in the past. But it also knocks my endurance down by 5, which is causing me problems. So I'd have to swap that and something else. Like that. I could put a few more points in endurance, but I don't really want to. But, I mean, that is increasing my damage taken by 5% and it's lowering my health. So that is actually probably no longer a good thing. So I'm going to swap. I'm going to do that for now. These weigh anything. No. And that way raises a quip load, just apparently not as much as the other thing does. I'm gonna try this. I think we're at the point now where that 5%. I mean, I do lose 5 levels of dexterity though, as well. Arrgh, now that I say that out loud. <laughs> oh, it's, it's damage versus. Is 5 levels of dexterity worth taking 5% more damage? And I also, of course, lose um, the turtle. Your footsteps, and they're not mine. Oh, I don't. I need to think about that. What if I've got like a piece of lighter armor? But then we're running into the same problem. If I had like a piece of armor that was light but increased my damage, that'd be perfect. You know, like a mask or a helmet that increased my dexterity or increased my sword damage or something. I'd be all over that. I haven't seen anything like that all game though. Wait, what was I even using? What did I swap this out for? Oh, the tail. Okay, we can do that. Is that cool? Do I look cool? <laughs> I mean, I kind of look cool. <laughs> it's nice. It's like a remembrance of Blythe. It's what my, let me think about what I'm actually gaining from this. So if I swap that back out for that... Wait, I gain health with Radigans? But I lost health with Radigans. Didn't we just go through? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, that's why. So it's only 20 health. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going back to Radigans for now. But that may be something I swap later on. That's uh, something to keep an eye on, especially if we put two more points in Vigor, which I'm going to do. So then all five points of Vigor that I get from Radigans are um, past the soft cap. That might be what just pushes Radigans over the edge into uh, not being viable.
I'm basically swapping, now that I think about it. Because it, it, it's not really the health at all. I'm losing health, so I'm really just swapping five. Is this really a thing? I'll screw it. <laughs> I mean, this was utterly pointless. <laughs> What's that over there? Is that another mausoleum? Where is that? There's another mausoleum. Mausoleums really haven't been that helpful. I guess because I've never had a boss that had... I mean, I just simply have never had a boss that had two items that I wanted. You know? I mean, they have, but only if I could duplicate items, which obviously we can't. I can't believe I went around there for nothing. <laughs> we took that bloody risk. I suppose I don't have any souls that way. Right. This is uh, a little disappointing for a high level graveyard. There you go. At least it's not great, but. Step up. I, I think Radigan's probably isn't worth it. Um, when I hit over 75 dexterity. I suppose that's ages away. That's probably not that far away, because I won't be leveling up. As soon as Vigor hits 60, we're not leveling up Vigor anymore. We're just leveling Dexterity to 80. Once that Vigor hit... Once Dexterity hits over 76, then even that begins to hit the soft cap, and Radigan's is much, much, much less worth it. But then I've got that other... So it's not 70... It's not... What's, what's, what, what is my Dexterity? Bear with me. That raises it by 5, right? That raises by five, that raises by five. So when my dexterity hits 70, okay, that's that's what we're doing. When dexterity hits 70, we're taking off Radigans. Or 71, or whatever. Because that means I'll have 70, I'll have over 80. Well, I'd have 80 on the dot, but. Okay, when dexterity hits 71, <laughs> we're taking off Radigans. That's the deal. Glad we got there eventually. <laughs> Uh, you know what? <laughs> I know I went round here and there was nothing there, but there's so many messages and stuff that it makes me awfully suspicious. I'm gonna just... There's not much in this area. I don't know what they've done with this. They need to fix the shadows here in uh, Giants. It's kind of a persistent problem. I think that's it, probably. Uh, right. I do have concerns being seven minutes away. We're not gonna we're not gonna start the Soul Castle, I apologize. It's too it's too it's too close to the end. Always makes me apprehensive. I don't wanna go in and commit to things. Ah nah, that's stupid. Let's go in. <laughs> I can't I can't be that much of a cock tease. Is that really what I, what I wanted to say there? <laughs> well, I said it, so... Oh, right, over we go. Oh, let's activate that. Really just throwing away all my FP here. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, that hurt way harder. Help. It's funny because it feels like enemies once again have like an appropriate amount of HP, you know, <laughs> which isn't really something I've experienced in a while. Oh god, there's another- I specifically looked around when I walked in to see if the- wait, what? Where's your health gone? Did I hit it by accident? Did its friend hit it? It must have done, right? Ah, bad timing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> God, I hope they don't respawn. <laughs> I was thinking, well, you know, maybe it would make sense to go get my, my health back, but I'm a little conscious. I tell you what, now that I thought about it, um, we need to upgrade our weapon, right? Ah, oh, just keep going. Shut up, Vagrant. You don't need to. Crumble, crumble, crumble. So we're here for the Halig Tree Medallion. That is specifically why we've come here. Not, not that I'm not just going to explore the entire thing anyway, but it's neither here nor there. Medallion! Where did we get the first one? Albus, right? Yeah. Well, slug! Knew it. I didn't know it was gonna be a slug. Ah! Man, I'm always so disappointed when I find a key item. You know when it's got the little purple glow where it feels special and then it's a freaking butterfly. <laughs> it's always so sad. I'm sure I want to be up here yet. Oh! Whoa! Okay. I'm always a little amazed when I start to hit someone and they take no damage. Oh my god. Ah! Stop it! My god. Yeah, you think I don't know what you're up to. I didn't, to be fair. I just thought I'll just. I kind of expected him to be there, and I was very much in that frame, frame of mind. Oh my god. Castle Sol, you're a bad place. I wonder how long it'll be now until we get that final smithing stone. It's only level 10 we can get to. We're, our, our Bloodhound Blade has neared the end of its journey. Oh, hey, cool. I really want to do this at some point. We now have six of those paintings, and we haven't done any of them. Or maybe we have inadvertently, I don't know. But like I said, I think what you meant to do is just go to where it was painted, and according to the description, you can meet the artist, who I'm going to go ahead and assume is in ghostly, spooky form. Does anyone else get, like, um... Ah! Ah! Bird with swords! <laughs> Why is it always the birds? <laughs> Death bird, bird with teeth, bird with swords. The birds in this game have absolutely zero chill. Absolutely zero bloody chill. My god. Some very somber music. Why that other one didn't die so quickly? I think he just blocked, didn't he? How dare he? How very dare he? All right, all right. Let's everyone, everyone, calm down. Everyone just calm down. Okay, there's a great site. Which is cool. If I can get in. It's around here. Hello, lovely. 
Okay. Well, that looks promising for sure. Let's have a little poke around. Lovely. All right, no, let's, let's just. I do this every time. <laughs> I like to build up to it. Let's just grab the bloody grey site. I'm not going to use it though, because I don't want to spawn other guys again. I just want to go up the, All I want to do is go up the ladder. All I want to do. What's this called? Church of the Eclipse. Okay, whatever. We'll do it next time. Alright. I want to end it, but let's go see what that item is. I could not, could I? Oh, great sun, frigid sun of soul. I really thought that was going to be the medallion. <laughs> um, I suspect there's a boss here somewhere and they've got it. Alright. Shogtel's a weapon, isn't it? Yeah. It's a curved sword. It's a very weird looking curved sword. Storied sword and treasure of Castle Soul that depicts an eclipse sun drained of colour. One of the legendary armaments. In Soul, the sight of an eclipse inspires a dreadful awe, preventing an onlooker from averting his gaze. Unique skill, Death Flare. Set the lusterless sun ablaze with the Prince of Death's flames, inflicting death ailment upon foes. Follow up with an additional input to bring down the armament, triggering an implosion. Jeez. Again, it's faith. Everything is faith or dex or something. <laughs> All the cool weapons are magic-y ones. It's actually really annoying. <laughs> right. I need to stretch. <laughs> so, next video... We are going to go back to Round Table Hold, of course. We're going to upgrade our weapon. We're going to spend some souls. I've got a few, so we'll just sell those. We're going to get our Bloodhound Blade to level 9, which is very exciting. And uh, then we'll continue through Castle Soul. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.